Hi, I'm Courtney Minaga and I am a Yonsei from Saratoga, California. I would say that what inspired me to join the Nichi Bay was just the realization that it is now up to my generation to pick up the torch and put in the work to carry on our traditions, to preserve our culture, to hopefully help my generation and generations to come understand the value and the importance of the legacies and the stories that preceded us, not only within our own families and our own communities, but society overall. You know, I look back or I think back on the Nichi Bay and I have very distinct memories of my Jichon and my Bachans receiving the black and white newsprint publication. And that has since evolved into a bi-weekly publication that my mom receives. And now I'm in the mix of all of that. And hopefully I can help to not only carry on those traditions, but continue the work of the Nichi Bay Foundation and the Nichi Bay publication to help preserve and carry on our culture and our traditions, not only with my generation, but generations to come. My name is Nancy Ukai and I'm a Sansei. I was born in Berkeley and that's where I live now. I'm project director of the 50 Objects Project, which explores the World War II incarceration of Japanese Americans through 50 artifacts. The Nichi Bay has been an invaluable resource for us. We do a lot of historical research. It's also continued to be a vital part of recording the events in our community through beds, through reporting, through special issues. So right now I'm reading this book. It's called How the Word is Passed, a reckoning with the history of slavery across America. The author Clint Smith travels to various historical sites to see how slavery is remembered. And with all due respect to Clint Smith, for our community, I'm gonna say that the Nichi Bay is how the word is passed in our Japanese American community. It's been around for decades and we are now recording the kinds of events that future generations will be reading. So your voice matters, our history matters, Asian American journalism matters. So please support the Nichi Bay on our day of giving this year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lori Shigakuni. I'm a estate planning lawyer and I'm on the Nichi Bay board. And it's been my privilege to be a board member. I've really enjoyed sitting with Nancy Ukai and Courtney Iwanaga and the others and just hearing about their commitment to the Japanese American community. And I want to tell you that it would be wonderful if you could remember the Nichi Bay in your estate planning documents. You could leave a gift in your will or your trust and you could help the Nichi Bay Legacy Fund. They're doing great work and it would be a really worthy donation. On Nichi Bay Day of Giving, remember to give generously and we really appreciate your support. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Alan Matsui and I am on the board of the Nishibe Foundation, have been for about, I think, six years or so. I'm a Sansei. On my dad's side, I'm a Nisei, and on my mom's side, I'm a Yonsei, so I average out to Sansei. I was born and raised in San Francisco, grew up in San Francisco's Japantown before there was a redevelopment, and uh, went back when Konko Church was a hangout for a lot of the kids in the neighborhood. I got introduced to the Nishibe Foundation by Lowell Kimura, who was a friend of mine from Troop 58, and he suggested that I come and give Nishi Bay some help on the accounting side. And then from there, I was asked to join the board. So here I am today. Nishi Bay Foundation was really in dire financial condition a few years ago when we, had, when we had our first day of giving. And thanks to the generous support of our community, we are here today and able to have events like this. So I thank you all for being with us today. Please support us and be safe. Hello, my name is Greg Inaba. I'm an informatics pharmacy technician at, Zep at San Francisco General Hospital. I'm a fourth generation Japanese American and I was born and raised in Sacramento, California. How were you introduced to the Nichi Bay Foundation? So it was back in 2010 when another group of mine, Nakayoshi, really wanted to resurrect the Soyan Tofu Festival that the Nichi Bay had done the year earlier. So I met up and talked with Kenji and we had a few meetings about it, looking at logistics and everything to see how we could execute this thing. And it took a couple of months, but 
uh, we were surprisingly able to pull it off and it's been a huge success ever since. Yeah. Favorite Nichi Bay memory? A couple years ago when our funds were, were a little tight and it came to the point where Nichi Bay had to really be honest and open with the community and almost we almost had to shut, close our doors and that's when the community really stepped up and gave almost everything that they could. Every little bit helped, every little donation that people came in to drop by or mail in or even give as um, donation from their uh, from their stocks or bonds really helped out and and saved the foundation and the community stepping up is what kind of shows the power of what community can really do so thank you for all that. Other personal reflections on the role of Nichi Bay? I see the Nichi Bay as like the archivists, as the historian for our community. We're basically capturing history in motion, history as it happens. And I think that's extremely important so that you could learn from your mistakes or what have you, especially when times are really tough like right now, during COVID and during racial tension. Learning from our past is and being educated on what we can do is really important. And you need some kind of foundation of that and education and historical accuracy is the foundation of that. So I think that's the role of Nichi Bay.